Good morning. Welcome to the Lance Chapel Amazon Church of McIntosh, Alabama. We'd like to invite you to join in with us as we lift up the name of Jesus this morning. We trust and pray that something will be said in order to help encourage you. his name because he is God. Amen. We're going to go into our scripture reading this morning. Amen. The Lord said, oh, magnify his name with him. Amen. Bless his name. This is a blessed day. Everyone is here. We give God glory for just allowing us to be here one more time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. My Lord, bless your name, Jesus. We're going to read the 23rd Psalms. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. How, how many of us today believe that God is our shepherd, that he watches over us, that he protects us, that he keeps us every single day of our life? Isn't he good? Hallelujah. He's a great God, an awesome God. No matter what we may have done down here, he still loves us just the way we are. Amen. We're getting ready to go into prayer today, and we just ask that you will pray with us. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy name. Our Father and our God, this morning, just a few of your humble servants have gathered here today in this drive-up worship service. Father God, we thank you for those as we come to enter into praise and worship in the name of Jesus. We thank you, dear Lord, for your presence being with us today. We just thank you, dear Lord, for just being here in the midst. Father, you are welcome to come and just have your way today. We ask that you will touch every individual that is here today. Those that are in the community, in their homes, we ask that you will touch us all today, God. In the name of Jesus, cover us in your blood and keep us in your tender care. Continue to bless us each and every day. Just wrap your loving arms all around us, God. Letting us know and reminding us that we are never alone, that you are always with us, no matter what things may look like, no matter how hard times get, that you are still God that loves his people and that take care of them. For that today, God, we say thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for new mercies today. Thank you for all the blessings. We just thank you, Father God, for just being God. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, the one that our master and our savior, the most high God, the one who is faithful, Lord, to forgive us of all of our sins, that look beyond our faults, God, and see about our needs. We thank you today, God. Come today and join us in this worship experience. Allow us to experience your presence here today. In your son Jesus' name. As we continue in song, we ask that you are blessed, everyone, God. Lift this spirit, God. Encourage them, Father God. Strengthen them, Lord. Let it minister to their soul, God, right where they may be at in the name of Jesus. That we will be ready to receive the word of God, Lord, as our pastor comes and break the bread of life. Open up our hearts that we may be receptive to the word. And hear, Lord, in our ears, Lord, the blessings of the word, God. We just thank you right now. Have your way today. Forgiving us of all of our sins and of all of our unrighteousness, Lord. We ask for your mercy right now in the name of Jesus. Because we have not always done every I and crossed every T. We have not done everything right, God. So, Lord, we just thank you for saving our souls for, from condemnation and all those things that the enemy will try to come up against us. We just thank you, Lord God, for loving us so much, for taking care of us for keeping our minds stayed on you all day long and every day throughout the week. We just thank you God for your love and understanding and your peace. We love you God and we glorify your name. We pray for those that may be sick across the land in this community and those that's with us today. Continue to keep us. Continue to strengthen us. Continue to bless us. What is in your son Jesus name we pray. Amen and thank God. Come on let's put that
dwelling in your presence. You you so I wanna be where you are. Oh, I gotta be where you are. So I wanna be where you are. Amen. We lift up 
those that are on our sick list. We lift up Brother Dominique Foster, Mother Emma Moss, Mother Adele Adams, amen. We lift them up today. We lift up continuously those who have just lost their loved ones recently. Amen. We lift up, amen, brother. Cleveland Abel, God bless you, sir. Good to see you out today, amen. You were one of the first ones we met when we came up this morning. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. We lift up Brother Clifford Abel. Amen. We're asking that you would keep them lifted up in prayer as well. Amen. And to all of our uh, students in the various school systems, we ask that you would remember them in prayer. All of the official staff of all the school systems, not only Washington County, but also Mobile County, Clark County, the keeper. We lift up Brother Eddie and Sister Eddie Reed. Amen today. Amen. God bless you. And may God keep you as our prayer. Let us go to grace now as we petition heaven on behalf of all of these prayer requests that we have mentioned. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we come before you as humble as we know how. First of all, Father God, recognizing and realizing that you are God all by yourself. And beside you, there is no other. God, we just thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us. We thank you, Lord God, for watching over us all night long while we slumbered and slept. We thank you, Lord God, for touching us with your favor of love and waking us up early this morning and starting us on a brand new journey. God, we come before you right now as empty pictures, oh God, before a full fountain. God, we're invoking your presence in the place right now, God. Even though we're on the outside, God, we can still feel your presence. We just thank you for showing up, oh God, as only you can do. God, we come right now repenting of our sins, oh God, asking you to have mercy upon us, asking you, Lord God, that your forgiveness will rain down upon us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercy is everlasting, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the sins that we have committed in the past, and even the one that we're committing right now, God. We, we thank you, Lord God, for even forgiving us of the sins that we have not yet committed, God, for you blood on Calvary. God, we thank you for the blood, and we realize that the blood will never lose its power. God, we just say hallelujah to the Lamb. We just thank you, Lord God, for sending your son Jesus to die on Calvary that we might have a right to the tree of life. God, we pray right now asking you to honor those requests that we have made, oh God, according to your will, God. We realize that it is not your will that we be sick, oh God. So we speak healing right now in the name of Jesus to those that are sick and afflicted, oh God. We ask that thou just touch and heal according to your healing power. Hallelujah to the Lamb, God. God, we just thank you for healing right now. For these who are sick in their bodies, God. For these who have been uh, uh, attacked by the enemy with afflictions upon their physical bodies, God. Restore, Lord God, the healing process. Restore their physical health in the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you right now, Master. God, we pray for those names that have been called today, God. God, we lift up the Abrams family, God. We lift up the McDonald's family, God. We lift up, Lord God, Brother Dominique Foster, God. We lift up Mother Emma Moss, oh God. We lift up Brother Nap Reed, God. And all of those names that have been called, God, we ask you to have your way right now way in this upcoming election, God. God, we ask that thou just clear the path right now, God. In the name of Jesus, for we're standing in the need of a leader, God. We're standing in the need of an anointed leader, God. You have your way right now with the election, oh God. We bind up every spirit against this election, God. We bind up every wicked and evil device that the enemy is holding in the hollow of your hand, God. 
in the name of Jesus. God, we lift up the candidates that's running for election, God. Lord God, we ask that thou would just shield them right now, Lord God. Hide them behind your cross, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, bless us as a people, oh God. Help us to do our civil duties, oh God. Help us to be the one to go out to the polls, oh God, and cast our vote, oh God. Have a, have a way with us as we go to the polls today, God. Oh God, we love you right now. And we realize, oh God, that this country is in your hands. Continue to hold us, God. God, we pray right now for every family that's been affected by this COVID-19, God. God, we ask that thou just continue to strengthen us. Continue to prop us up on every leading side. Oh, God, we love you today, God. We surrender and say yes to your will, God. We ask, Lord God, that everything that we do here today will be to thy glory and thy glory only. We pray for our school systems, God. Lord God, we ask that thou would just regulate the teachers, oh God, the staffs, oh God, and they go forth, oh God, to educate our children, God. Help them to realize, oh God, that young lives are in their care. Bless our children, God. Help them to stay focused, oh God. Help them, oh God, to endure even in times like these. Oh God, teach them right now through the teachers and the staff that they may grow up to be productive and, and careful citizens of your kingdom, God. We thank you, Master. And now, Lord, I ask that you would just bless us as we come together today to lift up your name on high. Help us to lift you up in sincerity, oh God. Help us to lift you up in spirit and in truth, oh God. That some soul may cry, and I yield, I can't hold on any longer. Have your way today, God, as we go forth to magnify your name. For we realize that it's all about you and not about us. And then, Master, we realize that one day we're going to have to lay down for the last time. But help us to be the one that you're calling for and looking for in these lands and evil days. Help us to serve you in this present age. I will call and to fulfill, oh God, that one day we might hear your welcome voice saying, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up a little bit higher and I'll make you rule over many. We declare and we decree it this day. For it is in Jesus' precious name. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. And amen. Verse 25. The 14th chapter of Luke. Breeze thusly from the King James Version. And then went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children mm -hmm. and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me, cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build a tower sit it not down first and count it the cost whether he have sufficient to finish it. Less happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it all that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Amen. From that passage of scripture, I believe God will have us to lift up a subject, the cost of your cross. Amen. All Amen. right. All right. The cost. Of your cross. Mm -hmm. Some of life's lessons are hard. 
as King Solomon has taught us that we are to train up a child for the reason and for the fact of that life has a way of teaching us hard not lessons. Mm -hmm. Preparation is the key to success. It's better to know where you're going and what the cost would be before you even take your first step. Hmm. That's the lesson in this parable that is told by Jesus himself. At this point in Jesus' uh, earthly ministry, those that followed him were continuously growing. It should have been a comfort to him to have so many disciples walking with him toward the holy city. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was not so much concerned about the crowd. He was looking to the future. Mm -hmm. He knew that he was on his way down the dusty roads to Jerusalem to die on the cross. And he knew the fact that his own disciples uh, would abandon him in his greatest hour of need. Mm -hmm. He knew that he was going to be arrested. He knew that he was going to be placed on trial. He knew that he was going to have to carry his own cross. He knew that one day he was going to have to die in order that mankind might be saved. Can I get a witness? Yes, yes. Spiritual resolve requires the highest level of determination and tenacity. You're going to need plenty of spiritual resolve if you want to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Discipleship is difficult. Amen. We are, we, are, we, are, we are taught in the Bible that we are supposed to take up our cross mm -hmm. and follow Jesus. Yes. Is that right? Yes, yes. A lot of times, we don't even know where we're going. Mm -hmm. But if Christ tells us to follow him, then we follow him out of obedience and a life of faith. Yes. This parable known as the parable of the tower builder. Mm -hmm. This is Christ's warning for us as believers to be prepared. Yes. Just like a good soldier in the army of the Lord. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, when it comes to being a soldier, mm -hmm. a soldier has to always be prepared. Yes. Can I get a witness? Amen. Because a lot of times, you don't know when you're going to be confronted mm. with the enemy. Amen. Sometimes you could be in a safe zone, but the devil always have a way of penetrating even the most fortified yes. safe zone. Yes, yes. And so this parable teaches us as Christian believers that mm -hmm. we have to be prepared. We have to be ready like a good soldier in the army of God. How does Jesus prepare us in this particular parable? How does he prepare us to face the challenges of discipleship? Because when it comes to discipleship, my brothers and sisters, we're going to have to face some challenges. A lot of us are facing the challenge of this pandemic right now. Amen. A lot of us, and, and can I be real about it? Yes, A yes. A lot of us have become comfortable and complacent in our PJs yes. and our <laughs> negligees and lingerie. Uh -huh. Now that we don't have to come to the church no my, more, my, my. all we got to do is just get comfortable in our recline. My, my, my. Hello, somebody. My, my. And still have mm. church. My, my, my. God Almighty. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to go there, but there it go. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Speak the truth. But there are at least three things that this particular parable lays out for our consideration. When it comes to discipleship, the first thing that we have to take in consideration and remember that when it comes to true faith, mm -hmm. genuine faith is costly. Uh huh. Amen. Amen. Let me say that again. True faith is costly. It's going to have to cost us something. Yeah. Amen. I know we sang the song, 
True faith is costly. Mm -hmm. The second thing I think we need to take in consideration, not only is true faith costly, but we need to take time to estimate mm -hmm. before we enter. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We need to take time to estimate before you enter. Well, once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, guess what? There ought not be no turning back. Hmm. Amen. Amen. There should be no turning back. So Jesus says it's wise to sit down and count up the cost. What is it going to cost me to follow Jesus? In a look, in in a, in a, in a parable here, Jesus says in our text, "For which of you?" Intending to build a tower, sit it not down first mm -hmm. and count it up the cost. Hmm. Allow, me, allow me to rephrase it. Uh -huh. If you were going to build a tower, uh -huh. would you first sit down and plan the construction to yes. make sure that your heart was in the project? Uh huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because what happened? If your heart is not in it, then you are quit. At the, 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 the smallest resistance, Christ's call to discipleship requires us to take some measurements. It requires us to take some assessments of our commitment level and our sincerity. In other words, is your heart in it? Amen. All right. Is your heart in this thing called Christianity? Can you commit to the end? Have you really counted the full cost of discipleship? Have you really sat down and started adding up? Is it for me? Mm -hmm. Watch this. If you seek God with all your heart, uh huh. You mean to tell me I gotta believe His word? Yes. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me I gotta trust Him? Yes. You mean to tell me I gotta forget about my past? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil. Yes, yes. You tell me I gotta resist the devil. Yes, yes. And keep the faith, mm -hmm. my brothers and sisters. There's gonna be some burdens to carry. Yeah. Watch this. And we need to stop telling folk once you get saved, yeah. everything gonna be all right. Amen. 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 <laughs> once you get saved, hmm. that's when the devil turns it up. A little, little bit. bit. Yes. Yes, sir. Hello, yes, sir. Somebody. Yes, sir. What, once you come to Christ, once you make up your mind that you're going to follow Jesus, that's when the devil put out all the stuff. Yeah. He'll get in your children. He'll get in your wife. He'll get in your co-worker. Even with that, that ideal job you thought you had, mm -hmm. he'll come into your job. Yeah. Is anybody out here? Amen. Mm -hmm. The moment you say that you're going to commit your life, to Christ. Guess what? There's going to be some burdens that we're going to have to carry. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some lifestyle that's going to have to change. Yeah. There's going to be some temptation that we have to overcome. This is what it's all about when we talk about counting up the cost. Counting up the cost. My mind. guess what? You won't have to build this new life all by yourself. That's right. Because Jesus said, I'll go with you. I'll never leave you, yes. nor forsake you. Yes. I'll be there with you mm -hmm. every step of the way. Mm -hmm. But my brothers and sisters, that's going to have to take some self-assessment. Self mm -hmm. Self-assessment is not only necessary, it's, it's necessary, necessary for us to sit down sometime. Necessary, and yes, and take yes. take self-examination yes, yes, yes. of ourselves. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes. Then lastly, Not only must we take into consideration that real faith is costly. Mm -hmm. We have to remember, amen, even in the midst of following Jesus, we need to take time to count up the cost. Yeah. Because one thing about it, we can't put our hand to the plow mm -hmm. and turn, turn around. My, my, my. Jesus said if we put our hand to the plow mm. and turn back, then we're not even fit for the kingdom. Not fit, my Lord, Jesus. And then lastly, my Lord, my brothers and sisters, once you have sat down 
and counted up the cost. Mm -hmm. No matter what the cost of your cross is, it is worth it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's what I want to encourage you today. My brothers and sisters, whatever we're going through right now, mm -hmm. if we're going through it for the cause of Christ, it is worth every moment of it. Yes. The cause here is called crucifixion. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking about the crucifixion of your body, but we're talking about the crucifixion of self. Mm -hmm. And I believe that if we can get self out of the way, well, then we'll have everything intact and in order. Yeah. Because sin is that three-letter word with I in the middle. Mm-hmm. Hello? Mm-hmm. I did this. Yeah. It's all about I. Yeah. Me and my. My, my. Amen. Mm -hmm. But I just believe that if we can get self out of the way. Yes. Then we'll have everything in order. When the Roman government crucified a captive, the victim was forced to carry his own cross part of the way to the crucifixion site. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, uh, carry your cross through the streets of the city was supposed to be your confession that you were receiving a just sentence for your sin. Mm -hmm. The Roman Empire was correct to impose death upon you. It was an Example that uh, they were right and you were wrong. Hmm. But when Jesus said to his disciples, whosoever did not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Hmm. What he was saying was, uh, if you got to take up your cross and follow me because I'm right and they are wrong. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we are called to follow Jesus all the way to our death. Well, this is just what the religious leaders of ancient times did not want to do. It was too great a cost for them to bear. They couldn't give up power, prestige, and position. The cross of self-denial was too heavy for them to carry. Mm -hmm. But my brothers and sisters, if you want to become a disciple of Jesus Christ, uh, you got to crucify yourself. Well, I can hear the Apostle Paul saying that I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, not I live, but yet uh, it's the Christ that liveth in me. And he said in the life, amen, which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me. Mm -hmm. And he gave himself for me. Well, yeah, my brothers and sisters, mm. I don't know what you had to pay, amen, when it came to following Jesus. Well, maybe you have lost old friends or even family members who just couldn't accept you and your change. Mm -hmm. But my brothers and sisters, at times, even your cross may seem and your load might even seem too heavy to bear. Uh -huh. But the challenge may seem too large and the task may even seem too great. Mm -hmm. But I want to come to remind and encourage you today. Uh, don't get discouraged because it's all worth it. Well, and I know it's a challenge to keep going mm. when everybody else oh want to throw in the towel. But you just hang on in there because it is worth it. Mm -hmm. I know it's a challenge to hold on when the rest and everybody else is letting go. But I want to encourage you today, you keep the faith. Yes. Because it is worth it. I know it's a challenge to stand firm when everybody else are stumbling and staggering. Hmm. But you just stand in a house. Yes, because yes. Because I believe that it's going to be worth it yes. in the end. I know it's a challenge hmm. to rely on God. When others are denying God, but mm. you just hang on in there. Hang on in there. Keep on trusting yes. in the Lord. And I know it might even seem dark right now. I know mm -hmm. it might even seem hopeless right now. But I'm here to let you know that my hope is not built on what I can see well, with my physical eye. Well, my hope is not built on what I can 
see and understand with my physical intellect. But I heard the hymn writer say, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' and blood and his righteousness. Yes, Christ is worth the cost of my cross because he alone, he had the power to be our protector. Mm -hmm. He had the power to be our provider. He can refresh you even when you get weary. He can hold you in the rocking of his cradle and in the hollow of his arm because he is the foundation of living water. Yes, he can Lord. nourish and refresh you mm. when you're feeling feeble and dry mouth. Yes, He's Lord. able to restore unto yes, you Lord. Yes, the joy Lord. Yes, of Lord. your salvation. Yes, Lord. The devil has a way of trying to steal yes, and Lord. rob you yes, of Lord. your joy. Yes, Lord. But I'm so glad I Well, my, 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 my. Number four, you're going to have to deal with some disappointment. 
appointment. Mm. Number five, you're going to have to change some lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number six, you're going to have to deal with folk that don't even want to have nothing to do with you. My, just my. because you came to Christ. Well, yes. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good you see, we can't be halfway in and halfway out. Yeah. We can't be saved on Sunday mm -hmm. and on Monday through Friday through Saturday. We are here just doing our own thing. Mercy when it God. comes to discipleship. Oh, mercy, Jesus. Jesus, mercy, Lord. Genuine faith yes. is costly. My Lord. Hallelujah. My Lord. You need to take time to sit down and take a self-assessment. Mm -hmm. Is this really what I want? Because one thing about it, when you put your hand to the plow, you can't turn around and look back. Hallelujah. And I know that there are some that have started out on this journey. There are some, because of the pandemic, that they've got comfortable and sat down and stopped witnessing. <laughs> but my brothers and sisters, the witness don't stop. The discipleship don't stop. Amen. There's souls out there to be saved. Yes. Hallelujah. I can understand what the hymn writer said. A charge to keep. I have. My Lord. A God to glorify. My a Lord. A never dying soul to save. And feel it for the sky. For the to sky. serve His present. This present age. This present age. Jesus. <laughs> My, my. Not Jesus. yesterday, but my, my. Today. my Lord. My calling to fulfill. Yes. Oh, may I all my powers engage to do. to do my master's will. Jesus. God bless you. May God keep you. And may heaven smile upon you. Is our prayer. Count up the cost. Mm -hmm. Because one thing about it, I want to hear him say. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Servant. Done. Well done. Yes, Lord. It'll be a tragedy mm. to get out here. Jesus. Every Sunday. Oh, Jesus. My Lord. Every day witnessing. Mm. It'll be a tragedy mm -hmm. to die. Jesus. Mm. And stand before him. My Lord. To hear him say, depart from me. Jesus. Jesus. You workers of iniquity. Oh, mercy God. I want to hear God. him say, servant. Yes, Lord. Well done. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Thou yes, good sir. And faithful yes, sir. Servant. Yes, sir. Whip our heads today. Hallelujah. God, I just thank you right now for these who have come, for these who have received your word, God. I just thank you for your spirit. I thank you for speaking to us and through us, oh God. Mm -hmm. Reminding us, oh God, that even though we have to bear crosses, you've already conquered and defeated the cross. God, we just thank you. And because you live, God, we can live also. Regardless of how hard and heavy the cross may be upon us. Mm -hmm. We thank you for going every step of the way with us. Yeah. We thank you for helping us bear our cross. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, we just love you today. Love you, Lord. And the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. We ask that your spirit would minister this word to each and every one that have been listening, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. God, I pray right now for those who are logged in on Facebook Live. Let your spirit ring. Let your spirit accompany and minister the word to those that are listening. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, that we may take a self-examination mm. and sit down and count up the cost. Count up the cost. Jesus. Of what you, Jesus. Mm. Help us, oh God, to remember. That when it comes to our Lord, take commitment to you, mm -hmm. everything else, take a back seat. Yes, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now continue to raise us up. Mm -hmm. Continue to let us be that beacon light in the midst of this dark and cruel world. Yes. We declare it today. We decree it for it is in Jesus' precious name. Jesus' name. And for Lord. his sake. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless his name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Did not your heart burn as the man of God spoke, by the way? Truly, we are grateful that you have decided to join in with us, and we trust and pray that something has been said in order to encourage you in times like these. 
as pastor of the Lance Chapel here in Zion Church, we would like to say thank you for tuning in with us. And if you would like to become a regular donor and supporter of the ministry here at Lane's Chapel, the information is at the bottom of the screen. And please feel free to do so. And until next time, may God continue to bless you and may heaven smile upon you. And remember, your condition is not your conclusion. God bless you.